the broadcast. Yeah, note to self, just invite Rob Schneider on the show and we'll fill the seats. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's so great. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you. Well, well I thank you. Maybe there's a maybe there's a smoked out in another building. <laughs> need to escape. Now you you were up late shooting last night. You're working on a project. What is it? Well, uh, my wife and I are decided to do our own show. I said we don't have a place for it yet, but we we've been working on it for a year now. It's mm -hmm. we're doing the whole season. And uh, it's called uh, Real Rob, um, named after me. <laughs> and uh, it's just my wife and I and our baby. We use our baby in the show. And, and you said uh, it's a sitcom, not a reality show. It's a sitcom. Show. Yeah, it's a sitcom. We, okay. we wrote it, and it's about me. And then my, uh, we're shooting last night's episode was my because my wife in real life wants me to get, and it's real Rob. She wants me to get a vasectomy. <laughs> and uh, so I called my friend Norm McDonald, and I said, well, what's, um, you know, because I read it, you go on the internet, you read all the stuff, and one of the potential side effects is dementia. So I called my friend Norm McDonald. Yeah, Norm McDonald. Right. And I called him. And, uh, and I said, Norm. He said, yeah, I'm calling you. No, I called you. You know, and he said, uh, oh, yeah, well, what's going on? How do I know you? And so I, you know, so I have coffee, and he forgets everything. So I think there's really something to it. Mm -hmm. So what I do instead of getting vasectomy, I, I get my assistant to get the vasectomy to see what it's like, you know. That's and awesome. then, and he's only 30 though, so he shouldn't probably get it. Oh. So, but anyway, that, that was the episode we shot last night. At 11 o'clock, and then I flew here. Oh. Wow! All right, so when you're, you're shooting us. it, you're doing the whole thing. Yeah. Then is it sold? Is somebody no. picking it up? Well, they better. We better sell it. That's I mean, right. That's a then, big jump. Yeah, so, but hopefully, you know, there's so many places now. It's not just, because mm -hmm. we had an average 11 million viewers on CBS mm -hmm. for my show, Rob, and then they canceled it. <laughs> and uh, so I said, 11 million is not enough for you. It's enough for me. We'll take it someplace else. Well, Good that's like, you. you know, with Netflix doing so well, you get the sure. orange is a new black and all those things that are on Netflix. Right, yeah. That's always an option, yeah? So please, if you know your friends at Netflix, have them call. <laughs> so I, I'm blown away that you had 11 million viewers and they canceled the show. So what are yeah. they looking for? Well, I mean, they just canceled Robin Williams, so they get rid of anybody. Mm -hmm. No respect is what I say. <laughs> so but it, it, it's their channel. It's, their, it's like they're, you know, they get to play. It's their rules. You got to do it. Do you miss um, your days on SNL? Sometimes I do, yeah, because sometimes if you have an idea that's not really a movie and it's not really a joke, you can tell your wife, or it's like a two-minute thing, and that, that was Saturday Night Live was perfect, you know? Yeah, you had an idea, and then boom, you just had it, you know. And you all it, brainstorm a premise. You just build, build, yeah, sometimes, build. Sometimes, yeah, like I was with Adam Sandler and I at our girlfriend's at the time. Again, you could bring this up. <laughs> and then uh, we all went out to this restaurant, this Italian restaurant, and, and we finally had some money. We were, so, you know, it's enough to go out to have a nice restaurant with our girlfriends, you know? Because we're, in the beginning, it's like, we're going we're to, you know, split everything. <laughs> and we go eating at Deli's, and I said, we'll take our girlfriends out. It was our second season on SNL. And we had girlfriends at the point. <laughs> you really made it, huh? We're, we're on, you know, we're on top of the world here. I remember he, he had a new couch. How'd you get this new couch? How much is this? And anyway, <laughs> so we went out to dinner. We're at this Italian restaurant, and then all of a sudden, these uh, these Italian waiters are going, you know, looking at our girls and going, bellissima, bellissima, and I go, wow, this is a bit much. And, and then Adam Sandler, the next night, came in Rob Smigel, another great writer, came in and they just took it to another mm -hmm. level where they were just the girls, you know, they were taking the girls and like really grabbing them and making out. <laughs> and that was a sketch. And then Kirstie Alley came on that week. She has a real raunchy oh, sense fun. of humor. Uh -huh. So, you know, we came out, you know, Adam Sandler's, I'm wearing a, I'm naked with my butt hanging up. <laughs> Adam's, Adam's in a diaper and we're doing the sketch. And then the audience was laughing so much we couldn't hear ourselves talk. It was oh, like, man. That was such a fun time. Now, will that be sort of like your stand up, your routine that you're doing here at Addison Improv? Uh, nice segue. <laughs> I'm trying. I try. Really no, they'll be laughing. Really they'll good. be laughing really hard. We see who gets the heavy lifting on this show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but yeah, it's yeah, a live audience. You just have fun because you talk about things about you know. I just turned fifty. Talking about what? that, like because you, know, you at fifty you can wake up and you can be hurt. You didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Honey, did you use my pillow last night? I messed up now. You know, these things happen. It's the truth. Do you like being fifty? Well, I like the fact that you wake up, you know, like, you know, my mom's 85. She says, I don't care. I'll say whatever I want now. Yeah. I don't care anymore. That's right. I'm just going to be me. I'll talk. And if you don't want to listen, and yeah, yeah, whatever, so I can say what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just, you know, I'm not at that point, but I'm halfway there. There you go. I'll Love say kind of what I want. Well, my husband's turning 50 in July, you know, and he's kind of dreading this crossover thing. So what's your, yeah. what's your best advice? What's your happiest moment? Stay mother? alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, take, take vitamins, get off pharmaceutical drugs. That's the thing. Go. I tell Absolutely. all the old people. Because, you know, and be careful. You know, actually, uh, this is serious. Uh, uh, call the FDA mm -hmm. and, and call your congressman and tell them to not 
because the FDA is actually going to try this Tuesday, this Tuesday, June 2nd, you're going to try to limit the amount of vitamins you're allowed to buy as American consumers. Are you Ooh. kidding? I'm serious. What? They would much rather have you take pharmaceutical drugs and vitamins. Mm -hmm. and I, of course. That's true. Uh, we have a little Kill vitamin them. company. Kill the competition. No, you're speaking little... my language right here. I'm with yeah. you on this. Get old people. First of all, anti-inflammatories are really good. Curcumin. You should be taking curcumin if you're, if you're seniors out there. Curcumin is a really good anti-inflammatory. And, and the statin drugs are not good for you, sorry mm -hmm. to say. They're, They're not, not good you for you. Get it's kind of, of freaking me out to get medical advice from Rob Schneider. Exactly. <laughs> don't. Don't. We take a, don't listen to me. Can we take a quick break? We'll come Why? back. I want to okay. talk more about this. This is super interesting yeah, stuff. Okay, interesting. more this with Rob great. Schneider when we this come back. This is great. Good